welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, guys. Today, we've got something very special to showcase, and that's this. This is the Cadillac Gaming Club, and you may remember it from a couple of months ago from my Cadillac Eldorado video. Well, in that video, I told you guys that Cadillac had some top secret plans regarding the Cadillac Gaming Club, and today, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about them. To celebrate the launch of the 2021 Cadillac Escalade, we've again teamed up with the awesome people over at Cadillac, because coming very, very soon is a single elimination tournament to find the ultimate Cadillac Escalade driver in Forza Horizon 4. We're gonna be racing around this circuit. This is the Escalade Sprint, a custom-built Escalade only race circuit where 50 of you guys are gonna go head to head. That's all the information I can share right now But join the Cadillac Gaming Club if you want to join this tournament because when more information is available That's where it's gonna be for example that custom race course if you want to try it out early The share code is already in the Cadillac Gaming Club so you can already drive around on it and get a head start on the competition. I think though, before we jump into this tournament, we've got to do some practice. Let's go jump into the Cadillac Escalade and give it a go. This is it. This is the 2012 Cadillac Escalade and things are looking pretty promising for our upcoming race build with this thing. We've already got over 400 horsepower over 400 foot-pounds of torque. I mean, it does weigh almost 6,000 pounds, but you would kind of expect that out of a big luxury SUV. I think with some Forza Horizon 4 customization, this thing is going to be pretty rapid, actually. But before we do any of that, let's jump into it bone stock and give it a go. Now, this wouldn't really be an AR-12 video if I didn't have any fun facts to share about this thing or that 2021 Cadillac Escalade. I've got to start this off with one of the craziest fun facts I have ever heard in the entire car industry. That 2021 Cadillac Escalade also has an augmented reality navigation system. And I'm just going to say, if you like your tunes, the 2021 Cadillac Escalade is probably the car for you. Because I, again, I'm, I'm not joking. It has 36 speakers in it. The 2021 Escalade has come a very, very long way from this one, the 2012 one. But even back in the day, even this one was filled with a bunch of technology. For example, back in 2012, this car had magnetic suspension, magnetic ride suspension, which is the same stuff a lot of race cars have. Anyways, I actually have a very soft spot in my heart for the Cadillac Escalade because when I was like six or seven or something like that, I actually had an RC, a remote control Cadillac Escalade. It was like two or three feet long. It was bright white. I would drive it around the floor all the time. And ever since then, it's always been special for me. Back to Forza Horizon 4 though. I think the good news for this thing continues because even though this thing is pretty big and pretty heavy, we just came P3, so let's head back to the festival and see what upgrades we've got. So let's see what we've got for the Cadillac Escalade. Now, I think we're going to start this off by jumping into an A-class on-road event. We'll come back in a moment and max this thing out, so don't worry about that, but let's keep it fairly reasonable for our first build. Anyways, we've obviously got our 6.2 liter V8 in here already, so that's a great start, but let's see what other engine swaps we've got. We've got, there it is, our 6.2 liter V8. That's the race car version that we can swap in. We might go with that. We've also got an 8.4 liter V10 with over 600 horsepower. That's pretty sweet. Or a V12 with 700. We will definitely come back with those. Now, after that, if we're gonna be racing, we're gonna have to do this. We're gonna need a big old race front bumper and an even bigger race rear wing on the thing. That's gonna keep us grounded going through all of the corners, so let's go with that. After that, we can definitely get some grippier tires on this thing. Let's go with race tires. Those handling stats are actually pretty promising, so let's keep going with that. We've got to keep in mind, though, we've got to, we've got to keep it in A-class, and obviously, we've got weight reduction to do still. You know what? Let's just get that straight out of the way. Weight reduction, we're going from 6,000 pounds down almost a 1,400 pounds. That's sweet. And just like that, we are finished up our Cadillac Escalade. We're now 4,400 pounds, so 
That's actually going to be great for racing around a car like this. We've got nearly 700 horsepower, which is sweet. And those lateral Gs are very, very promising as well. So now we've done all of our upgrades. I'm going to go give this thing a quick little paint job. And then we're going to jump online with some of you guys to create an awesome little race. I also want to take a look at all of your paint jobs. Yo, you got Cadillac inspired. You got racing stripes back there. That is so sweet. Okay, I think the main part of this is going to be avoid early crashes and watch out and get through the pack cleanly. I got to say though, right off the bat, it's, it's not actually bad. The turn in of the Escalade is way better than you would have thought. Out of my way, out of my way. My Cadillac is rapid. Oh, uh, you can definitely tell who put more horsepower in their cars versus mine. Oh man, there's been a huge collision. Purple guys everywhere. Can we capitalize up the inside? We're, we're like four wide. <laughs> no way, I'm, I'm still in P10. This is not the type of improvement that I was expecting out here. I'm, come on. Note to self, I definitely need some more horsepower in my build to keep up with all of these guys. Going fast in the corners is great and all, but you need to keep up with them on the straights. Up through corner one, this is the final lap already. Come on, oh, some, we got someone right there. Somebody missed the checkpoint, lovely. We're actually battling for P4 right here. One little mistake or one nice corner. We're gonna make it or break it up the inside. Round the red one, lovely move up to P7, come on. Final corner. Up the inside! What a lovely move! Come on! I have no horsepower! <laughs> no horsepower at all! I, I, I definitely could improve my build, but overall, not terrible. Not, not, not bad at all. Hey, I gotta say, in terms of lap times, what is that? Like the fourth best lap time? I'll take it. That's that's not bad at all. So now we need to take this thing from our race car build and turn it into our off-road race car. But if we're going to say horsepower is the name of the game and S1 class is something we can use, I think it is definitely time. I apologize for your eardrums. This is our V12. We are definitely going to be keeping the all-wheel drive. That's just going to be a necessity. Let's also swap on some twin turbos. And there you go. Already over a thousand horsepower. That's what I'm talking about. And then let's also get some chunky boys on there. How cool do those tires look? And then I said the most key ingredient of them all is going to be horsepower. So let's upgrade this V12 to the max and see what we've got. I don't know about you guys, but that looks super, super cool. So after all of our upgrades this time... 4,700 pounds. We're a little bit heavier now, but we've got the horsepower to make up for it. 1,500 horsepower with our off-road tires and everything. Again, let me go get a paint job on this thing, and then let's hit up a rally course. Let's see what we've got for race number two, and away we go. Yo, you can tell some guys have different tires than we do. They get away super clean off the line but they might struggle in some actual off-road driving as soon as we get into the actual off-road stuff this should open up significantly we're in p7 go for a nice little corner cut right there oh and one of them down oh really really down this thing handles beautifully off-road it's almost like an off-road drift car it's it's strange and it's it's all-wheel drive as well. I'm, I'm having more fun sliding around than I am trying to properly race. This is amazing. You know, I'm just happy to be here as I slide it around everywhere. It's amazing how good this thing is, is as a drift car. Like, I mean, it kind of makes sense because usually the longer your car is, the more stable it is at drifting. So maybe we'll give that a go in a moment. But since we've got all of this horsepower... Why don't we really quickly try our hand at drag racing? All we need to do is just toss some drag tires on. I'm gonna say Cadillac Escalade. If you can get a sub 10 second time, I would be happy with that. So good luck everybody in the lobby. Away we go, a very grippy start off the line. Not an ounce of wheel spin, that is crazy. And there we go. I think that was sub 10 seconds. That'd be sick. 9.8 seconds. That is what I'm talking about. GG Escalade. 
That's, that thing's quick. Anyways, I've got one more build I want to do. Let's see how the Escalade can do drifting. For our final build, let's try this engine. Let's whip out the 8.4 liter V10. We've also got to ditch those drag racing tires. Let's go with sport tires for this. I mean, we, we've still got a lot of horsepower, but that should be okay. After all of our upgrades this time around, 4,400 pounds. So we're super lightweight now. We've got over 900 horsepower. This should be a recipe for very, very sideways. I'll be honest, definitely not your most conventional drift car, but I think with the upgrades we've done, this thing is gonna be sweet to send it around. Like I was saying though, the longer the car is, the more stable it usually is. So maybe we'll be able to do some good things with this. Look at this lineup of Escalades we have behind us. That is so sweet, drifting behind DJ. Let's see if we can hold it with him and really push this thing back as a clipping point. Look, <laughs> kind of lovely move. I think what I've realized after this entire time of driving the Cadillac Escalade around is that in Forza Horizon 4, if you want it to be like any sort of build, you really can do it. It's a dream to drift around here because it's got basically unlimited horsepower and it's even not a bad drag car either it's just it's really cool all around so like i was saying join the cadillac gaming club if you do want to join our single elimination tournament in forza horizon 4 and don't forget you can try out this custom built cadillac race circuit thank you so much to cadillac for sponsoring this video we'll be back with some more forza horizon 4 soon see you guys then bye